Hey guys, I've got something interesting to show you. This is a GoPro dome port that I just built. Um, pretty interesting piece of equipment. I'm going to give you an overview real quick and then some sample footage and there's a second video that will give you this step-by-step -step how to build this. Um, obviously the dome is uh, a clear sealed area on the front of the regular GoPro uh, waterproof enclosure. Um, that keeps the water from getting close to the lens. Um, two reasons for this. A lot of you guys are probably going to use them for what's called 50-50s or half and half shots, uh, split photography, or over-unders. That's when half of the dome is underwater and half is above. So at the same time, the camera can see under the water and above. Um, it's extremely difficult to do that without a dome, and this gives some really neat effects. Um, if somebody were standing in front of your camera, you could see their body underneath and above the water. Uh, you can also see stuff like you know scenery and fish and whatever below the water, and then you know the sky and and scenery above the water line. So it's it's really really neat. The second reason for the dome is that the regular glass on the on the normal waterproof enclosure is called a flat port, and that introduces some image distortion. It does some strange stretching of the image, and when you put a dome on it, you get a 33% wider field of view. So that's why divers um, and underwater photographers use domes. Um, but anytime you build something like this, it's critical to test it before you put your camera in here. Get it all built, sealed up, and then submerge it underwater for a while and just make sure that there's no leaks anywhere, especially into the camera compartment. Um, I have not tested this at any great depth yet. The weather here is not very good and the water's cold. So um, if you plan on replicating this, just make sure you test your design. Um, but anyway, it's neat. It's worth the build. And I'm going to show you some sample footage now. Here you can see how cool these over-under shots are. This is a pretty clear river where I live and it just shows how, how neat these dome ports are. In this shot you can see I go a little bit too deep and it obscures the view of the dam. You've really got to pay attention to what your main subject is in the video and don't go too deep. If you go more than half you can't really see across the surface of the water um, so it's, it's important to watch that. You really need a lot of light when you're using the dome port, especially underwater. A lot of photographers use strobes under the water to uh, lighten up. This was a partially sunny day, but it, it really should have been sunnier. Here I was trying to get some footage in the lake, but we've had so much rain lately that the water's real murky and a lot of floating debris. Uh, you can still see the bottom part of my dog underwater, and you can also see what happens when water gets splashed on the upper part of the dome. I just carry a microfiber towel and kind of wipe off the droplets whenever that happens. But anyway, that's kind of the overview. Uh, check out the how to build video. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely let me know if you have any questions. And if you like my videos, please consider subscribing.